All right, guys, so I did record the daily, but I, I decided to test out another team. Uh, this is a shout out definitely to Weebfella for giving me your teams and what you've gone and kind of gone through and done that. I've only tested the dark dungeon and uh, I missed the fire going into the fire dungeon. I know I can clear the fire dungeon, um, but I wanted to test some stuff. But it's just been one of those weeks where I, I haven't had much time uh, to to actually sit down and do some of this stuff. So. Um, but shout out to you. Thank you for uh, showing me your builds. And this is kind of showing you my wonky way of uh, substituting it in. But it's actually got it through. You see I've already completed it once. And uh, I'll go over what I'm using just so everyone playing at home can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, by no way is this pretty. Um, I do have to restart if I get focus fired, unfortunately. And this is usually only in round one. Uh, they make it to the boss, and it's pretty much a GG at that point. But I'm still going to cover over everyone. Um, in my leader slot, I have my Hanahime Super Evolved. Uh, you guys know this. Uh, I love this Astromon. She's just that good. Um, her leader skill, Discernment. So she's going to be reducing everyone's resistances by 17%. Her HP aggression really doesn't come into play in here. We more mainly want her for healing and the shield. Uh, the shield is to her, mo her own uh, max HP, which is just godlike when you have 141,000 HP built on her. So um, SP ja uh, drain gem set for her, uh, HP percent. I'm not gonna worry so much about the sub stats. I'm just showing you main stats for right now, but HP percent all the way. These are six star gems. So this is why she's got almost, she has over 140,000 and HP um, so with her healing and shielding us we usually get through it uh, we'll cover then we'll skip uh, Florentia for a minute because I'll talk about why I have her in here uh, but Drakkar this is for new players out there eventually this is a staple this is definitely a Astromon you want to get at one point so um, doing the rebirth festival is the only known way to get her at the moment and it's been that way for years uh, but to get her out of the rebirth festival you have to save up your five stars to put into the the machine to get her and and hopefully pull her out but eventually when you do get her you are going to want to make this astromon she is a staple in a lot of things um, you can go look at a lot of leaderboards and she's always in there either there's one or two of them um, i know for this build specifically weeb fella you mentioned that you you did two fire draw cars uh Drakenes, but i call her Drakar anyway um, however, I don't have two of her, um, so this is just substituting the one in. The reason why she's such a staple is not just because of the attack you can build her on, but morale boost here, 100% chance to restore 15% of allies' SP when attacking. This is great. She's helping the team out uh, just by this ability alone. And then puncture is just for her, her active skill is great. Uh, ignore 100% of the enemy's base defense. She just hits like a truck, so eventually you will want to have this Astromon for your guys' team. Um, uh, I have Valor Gem, uh, Valor Gem set on her for more attack power, but we have two attack percent gems. Once again, don't worry too much about my substats. They're garbage. I don't focus so much on my substats to make good gems, and it, it, she still gets by just fine. Uh, however, the difference here, I did throw an HP percent gem in her uh, just because she needs to be able to take a hit. So this is where substituting out an attack gem is going to an HP percent just so she can live. Sometimes if she gets focus fired, she can, can live, but sometimes it, there's really there's really nothing you can do about it. Uh, Druid S, though, is another four-star Rebirth Festival Astromon. So this is another one I'm substituting in for the Sapper that uh, you suggested. And so 80% chance to inflict three types of sap off her main skill. This is just going to play off with the resistance again that comes off of um, Hanahime. So this, this gets applied pretty much every time. We don't care so much about her active skill. Um, so because of that, what I've done is I've put gems of leech on her so she can heal herself passively. So HP drain by 20%. Um, and I just gave her two attack percents and an HP. So I'm following the same uh, kind of mindset I am with my uh, Drakkar. So, uh, so there's my first substitute. Now for my second Sapper, per the um, uh, per the the uh, team suggestion, this is a interesting Astromon. Um, so uh, Florentia is a Capture Festival only. Uh, Astromon. You can only get her during that. Now, this is a spring Astromon as her design, and I always did like her design. But 
the thing with her is she should be hopefully coming out this year again so you guys might actually be able to get her but uh 100 as you can see sap build uh blowing things up with her sap not only on her normal skill but her active skill even at an 80 percent chance is still good with uh again comboing with hanahime on here um and then again, I, I want her active skill going up, so I have a resistance on here, so she can't be stunned or petrified pretty easily, uh, following it with an HP percent and a defense percent. Again, I'm not so concerned about her being an attacker, I just want her to put sap up. So the more defense she has, the less damage she takes by uh, their normal hits, more HP means she lives, uh, resistance means the less chance she gets hit by any stuns, petrifies, etc, etc. So. That's enough yapping about the team. Let's see it in practice, though. Um, this uh, this Benji can actually be sapped, which is something I... Ooh, this is, this is a spicy one. Um, which is interesting to me. Um, and again, you know, I, I don't... This is this is the only thing I have with, with sap builds in general in the game. Uh, a, I love them because it is the only way we can kill the, the stuff that is 125 levels of, you know, 125 being twice our levels. And that's unfortunate that that's really what it comes down to. But what the fact that they know this too, and, and I'm just going to say this a little bit, um, is the problem I have with the bosses in this dungeon specifically is they actively know this. So they, they go out of their way to remove it. Right, so all the bosses have the immunity of being sapped, uh, being you know put sapped down um, and, and things like that, and it's those, uh, it, it's that idea where if that's if that's your response to to players you know doing this, you need to go back to the drawing board for some of this stuff, and this is kind of a, a, a shout out to to them for this because again you know this is end game content you know we've we've covered that. And you've definitely heard my dismay with it, but when it comes down to it, if if this is the only way players can get through this content is by doing these kind of builds, and you don't like that, that's a problem that from that's a problem on you. Right? Like that's that's something you need to work out. And we'll actually get through this. So, just thinking out loud and and kind of pointing out something that I notice as a recurring kind of trend, unfortunately, with with the game sometimes. Um, I want to get rid of your special ability, and let's just sap on here, you know. But again, I, you know, this I'm glad that this team can actually do it, and you know, once again, I'm 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 grateful for um, you know, we fella for for telling me you know what this is what I've done with the teams I could and try and substitute it out, and this is this has definitely been what I've had to substitute out. Um, I'm just glad that it works, and it's it's these kind of moments. This is what I'm talking about. Like when you get a build that actually can work like this, but unfortunately, like you can't copy and paste this build. Um, that's 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 kind of what I'm getting at. Is you can't really, I can't use this team for all the dungeons, and I'm not saying it should be like that. But for as much as how powerful a sap is in the game, you would think that we would be able to. Um, we should be able to make different teams to be just as powerful is kind of what I'm, what I'm talking about, right? Is we should just not have just nuking teams, right? This is my first non-nuke team, and you guys know that. Um, and if you're confused with what I'm saying, this is the first team I don't have literally four attackers and just, you know, brain-deading this and going through it, right? And that's that's kind of what I want, is I want more, more focus on building compositions that aren't just straight up glass cannoning the the content but when you make a boss that has so much health and is immune to everything else in the game and then you can't kill them what do you expect your player base to do like how do you expect me to react with that kind of with that kind of stuff you know I, i'm gonna sit here and be like this is this is impossible this is ridiculous right so and, and again I, I digress i try not to really sound you know too um too upset with the game or anything like that again i am actually pretty happy that i'm getting through this um for once but i just i don't know i feel i feel kind of cheap using uh using this snap build to get through it but if this is how i'm going to get dimensional shards you know the, so i can actually you know get back <laughs> 
I can actually get back the ability on my dark Fenrir that was actually good. Because, <laughs> you know, we didn't we bo didn't bother uh, telling you guys that when you reset it, you have to go back in here, you know. But anyway, there you guys go. Uh, my first time act uh, recording it for you, coming through here and not getting upset with it. So, uh, again, shout out to Weebfella. Thank you for giving me your teams. Uh, I did try the Dark Dungeon one. I may have mentioned that at the beginning. I don't remember at this point. Unfortunately, with what I tried to substitute in, I still couldn't get through that. So, but I'm going to get back to this, guys. And you have a good day. I will see you in tomorrow's daily.